The question is from a high school physics class. What vertical distance can a person with a hang time of 0.7 seconds reach? Most of us watching this video will not know how to approach this problem. So who will? 18-year-old Daniel Inski. Main initial times time plus one half acceleration due to gravity. Daniel is not at a charter math school. He is not at a private school like Westminster or Lovett or Pace. He's not even at a highly regarded public school. He's here, the Cumberland Academy of Georgia in Sandy Springs. It's just after eight o'clock in the morning and 81 kids are gathering in the gym. At first glance, they seem like all other kids, curious, nervous, rambunctious, and ambitious. What's not so clear is that each of these children has special needs. They are challenged with Asperger's syndrome, ADD, ADHD, OCD, dyslexia, or other learning disabilities. They are here because they were struggling at other schools. For all A's, Spencer Klein. Spencer, good job. But now, like Daniel Inskeep, they are thriving. Times. 0.35 squared. The answer would be delta y equals 0.6125 meters. Cumberland Academy began in 2007 with just one student and a mother, Debbie Scarborough, who knew there had to be a better way. Her son Stephen was born at 25 weeks, weighing just two pounds. There was a question as to whether he would see, or walk, or even survive. He did, but at age three, he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. By the time he went to elementary school, it was obvious he was different. Typically, all of them are sensitive to um, a lot of sensory issues, could be noises. They can't filter a lot of things. They're all literal kids, um, and so they take everything that you say literally. It's raining cats and dogs. They may look out a window. And being different often means being laughed at, bullied, and left out. But he has no friends. He was never invited to birthday parties. He wasn't included in a lot of things. Um, he didn't really have true friends, even though he says his best friends were there. And even though he was quite intelligent, his education began to suffer. After elementary school, Debbie tried to find a middle school that understood Asperger's, but... The majority of the schools turned us down. They said um, that he wasn't right. And the, the thing, thank goodness that happened because we started Cumberland, but because he's academically strong, um, he didn't have the learning disabilities, he had social disabilities. So with one student, her son, she and her husband, Matthew, found a building, hired staff, and started this school. Its purpose, to give each child the individual attention they need to overcome their differences. In five short years, Cumberland has grown to 81 students, and there is a file of applications waiting. They are generally high-functioning students who are sometimes awkward, sometimes disruptive, and sometimes angry in ways we can't understand. It's the common thread among all these kids. When I got a call saying that he, you know, he'd been in the bathroom for two hours, and then he'd locked himself in and he wouldn't come out. <laughs> it's like, holy cow, my, that's my baby. And I knew that I, something had to change. And you know, I had to go, I go up there and it's like, sweetie, he's just like, and, and his little hands over his head and he's going, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do this anymore. And I'm like, you don't have to do it anymore. You don't ever have to do this again. We will find something else. Today, Austin loves school and his grades are above average. Every morning after a quick breakfast, he and his mom drive 45 minutes to Cumberland. It's a time just for them to talk and catch up. I tried to play the game with the other people and I did. It was oh, fun. Yeah, but apparently, I don't think that's the whole part. He is excelling, and above all, he is happy. He doesn't feel overwhelmed anymore. He doesn't feel like there's this pressure waiting down on him that he can't succeed. He succeeds every day, and they tell him. It's okay, it's nice. I, 
get good concentration, I get my work done, I learn, it's okay. You do the one side of the equation, you yeah. must. And he is not the exception. All these kids are succeeding. What's the secret? Why does this school succeed when so many don't? When kids get here, um, they have a, a great time where they can just come to the gym and hang out. They bounce balls, they play games. It's a real freewheeling kind of time where they just can be themselves, socialize, and that's really one of the most important things, and it's supervised. Today is Thursday, it's pizza day, so, which is awesome. Um, For perfect attendance. After that, we do our announcements. I pledge allegiance to the flag. We say our pledge to the flag every day. We think that's very, very important. And then we go to class. We start in homeroom for 10 minutes, and then we switch classes every 50 minutes. Yes, former slaves that were granted freedom. Okay. Here the classes are much smaller. I mean, we're talking between 6 and 10 in a classroom. So teachers can really get to know their students as individuals and address them in terms of their own individuality and the way they approach the student, both in terms of academics, but also the way with they, they work with them every day in terms of their development as a social person. African family is plenty. All of our teachers are special ed certified, and so they understand our kids. They understand their need to polish their social skills. And so on a daily basis, every day, all of us are really working with our kids to redirect them, toward proper social interaction, to correct them, to, uh, to make sure that they understand uh, when perhaps something they do is a little bit off. And they make it fun. They have a school dog, Haley. They participate in sports, arts, and field trips, just like kids from any other school. They compete in basketball. They have cheerleaders. Go Bailey! By Hayes over Garfield, puzzled and author in Cleveland. They have before school activities like brain jogging. Today they are learning the names of the presidents. A million miles, look at me. They have special after school classes like rock band. Once a week, kids earn the right to go to lunch at a restaurant. Here, they practice their social skills in public. Other kids go to Young Chefs, where they learn how to cook and prepare meals for themselves. I mean, we do not want them fearful. We do not want them reacting inappropriately. Um, and yeah, that's so important, and I think so many of these children, because of some of their issues, have been coddled. And I love the parents, and you know, I always say we've cut their waffles too long, and it's time for them to start doing these things on their own. Does it work? Do these kids like this school? Let's ask. Yeah, of course I like this school. I mean, this school not, doesn't also help you with the problems you have. It actually teaches you things. The teachers are much nicer, and they have better classes that you can take. The people here are nicer, like the students. But this school, they adapt to learning issues and social issues, and they help you learn them as you progress through the school. They actually work with me and help me understand things. They, get, they put lots of our lessons in detail, and it helps me focus and helps me absorb all the information I need in order to um, graduate. And I built up a trust with the teachers where they know if I stand up and I gather my things, they know I need a break. And most of the time I just go, I take a walk or I just go into the commons and I work because it's a quieter environment where I can focus on what I need to do. And what about Stephen, now a junior? He drives himself to school, is doing well in his studies, and has a part-time job as a car salesman at Steve Raymond Chevrolet. Yeah, it's a six-speed. Is this telescopic? Okay, it's telescopic. That's just good. I yeah, like it's, a, it's a telescopic. You can, you can adjust it any way you want. Yeah. Oh, over the last two years, ever like once a week, six hours a week, I've sold 76 cars. That's phenomenal. I know. 
You must feel really good about that. I love it. It's, it's my life. Well, when I opened the school, it was about Stephen because I needed a school for Stephen. Now it's about all the other kids and Stephen. Um, yeah, I love them all. And yeah. what do you have to do? You have to get like you have to collect eight videotapes. You're lying on the when I see a student come into us, I can't wait to get my hands on them because I just know how we can help them. This is a mom who's lived my life. She's walked in my shoes. She's cried those tears over having a child that you think is not going can't succeed. She's created a masterpiece for our children. And I think the biggest thing that I see is she's, she's just given them a voice and their own. And everything at that school, everything that they do at that school is, is based on what she has experienced with her, in, in my opinion, with her child. We never, 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 ever give up and always looking for how can we help this student because this student is not like this student. I've always loved teaching. And I think what I like about teaching is helping a child learn to do something for themselves that they couldn't do when they met me. I, I love them all, even, even in the middle of a, uh, when they're having a rough moment. Um, I love them all. And I'm lucky, lucky, because even on the worst day, somebody in this school is gonna make me laugh and make me smile. And I don't think every job has that. Cumberland Academy of Georgia, an exceptional school for exceptional students. <laughs>